Hey guys, my name is Timmy and today I want to give you some insights into my little balance board project. So yeah, selling my own boards has been a big dream of mine for a very long time now. Yeah, and nearly six years ago from now I have built my very first own longboard deck with my dad. And yeah, since then I always had the dream of selling my own boards. And yeah, so now it is about to finally happen and yeah, I'm just about to sell my own first balance boards. So at first I had to figure out the good shape for the balance boards. And yeah, as I already told you, I started with longboard decks. So I had this little board here, which I yeah just used as a balance board, but it was meant to be a longboard deck at first. I just put on some cork on the surface and yeah, it turned out that I liked the shape pretty much, even it, it, that it was a longboard shape. But yeah, beside the fact that it was way too slim for my feet because it was only like 25 centimeters wide and yeah, most balance boards are yeah near the 40 centimeters in the width. So yeah, I had to make a wider board. And this is what I came up with. So here's my board. It's exact the same length, but just a bit wider. So compared to each other, it looks a lot better for a balance board. And I also left away the concave shape. So it is completely flat right here and only has a curved tip and tail. So yeah, because the concave gave me a bit too much the feeling of the skateboard. So I like this shape a lot and yeah, I have finally found the perfect shape for my balance boards. So once I had the shape, I needed a name for my brands or for my balance boards. And yeah, this was pretty easy because I had a special feature for my boards and I always wanted them to be more than just balance boards. I wanted them to be some kind of art or maybe like a picture on the wall, just something you can use for a little bit more than just balance boarding. But yeah, balance boarding is actually enough for a balance board, but yeah, I wanted more. And so because of my girlfriends did some paintings on the on the first longboard decks I made, I thought why not give the balance board um, some kind of design or a picture or yeah, just something like this. And I had the idea to print some pictures of the landscape from a friend of mine onto the balance board. So yeah, this is the first yeah, try I had and I printed a landscape picture of the mountain Cicada in South Tyrol on it, which a friend of mine took. And yeah, I didn't really like the result of it, but this balance board is the first one with my special feature and this is the magnetic wall mount. So as you can see here, there are some little magnets into the board so you can just snip them on the wall just like this. And yeah, as you see, there are two boards who yeah, together are one picture and yeah, I like the idea of this wall mount so that is the reason why I called the brands or the boards Ride Your Art. Because you don't just should look at your art, you can also ride your art. And I had some some funny slogans like art that moves you because yeah, it's art on the wall and you can also take it down and use it as a balance board or yeah. And that's the reason why I called them Ride Your Art. So since I didn't like the result of my yeah, printed balance board or prints on the balance board because I actually glued um, yeah, a printing onto the balance board and yeah, I had to look around for a different opportunities and I found um, yeah, an opportunity where I can print the picture directly onto the wood from the balance board. So yeah, and this is how the boards turned out. 
and yeah so I can show you this right here I think this is much much better than yeah my last boards because the white of the picture everything that is white in the picture is actually just the background color so it isn't an actual color it's just a background and so that's the background of wood is wooden it turns out to look like this that it yeah the wood came through and you can see just all the lines of the wood and it looks very natural and that's what I like so much about it and all the dark parts are yeah they just look the same like on the picture because they are so dark and yeah this is actually a, the picture of Daniel which Daniel took um, the same mountain which I um, showed you before but it's just on one board I also got this the same like I showed you before the two boards and one picture and I have some new designs which my girlfriend did the, she painted it on Procreate it's an app for the iPad so you can do some pretty cool designs with this app and yeah so this is the design she made and I also like it because you can see so much wood and it still looks yeah like an awesome design <laughs> and yeah these are the boards the final boards also with the with the cork surface because I like the cork surface pretty much because if you just use your board indoor it's perfect you can go on onto the board with your socks and you won't slip away because if you are on a wooden board it's just yeah pretty slippery on the board and yeah not very safe and there are also magnets under the cork surface so you can still put the board on the wall with the magnetic wall mount and yeah so you don't see the magnets anymore because they are underneath the cork surface so these are the final balance board and what now I needed a place where I could sell them because I think the stores are not perfect place for handmade balance boards because I am not able to produce like a hundred of boards and yeah I also didn't know if someone actually would buy my boards and so I yeah needed a website with an online shop and yeah this is the next thing I needed to do I needed to learn how to build a website because I had no plan I have never done a website before and I needed to teach myself how to do this but yeah thanks to YouTube and all the tutorials out there I managed to build a website and an own online store for these balance boards so let me just show you what I came up with okay so here we have the Write your art homepage, the first page on the web page, and yeah, I've just put in some information here like handmade and unique balance boards, and yeah, the shape here, and also yeah, our landscape collection because we want to sort our boards into collections, so yeah, you can yeah find the boards easily because we are planning to do many designs and I think this is the best way to sort and filter our yeah designs and boards so it isn't just like everything on one page and because of artists do this with collections and painters do it with collections so why don't why should we not do it with collections as well so yeah here we are and yeah what makes our board so special it's easy the magnetic wall mount so here we have got two pictures of the boards on the wall and yeah also some short little clips where I use the board so we can just click here and you see how yeah Lena uses the balance board with the magnetic wall mount just as easy as that and 
yeah let's go down there just some more information about balance boards in general and then we can go right on top to the collections so it's loading okay so here we go the collections and first the landscape collection with daniel yeah this one you have already seen and right here you can just go to the shop and buy the boards so it's just a little shop slider and here the feminine energy collection which is coming soon and we are currently printing the designs and yeah then the next page is a little about us page so about me my girlfriend and daniel just these three persons here and yeah our passion that boarding is our biggest passion and just explained a little bit how we came to building boards so yeah this is the text right here and yeah that's it actually on the about page so you can just check out all the socials of our crew members and yeah so now let's go to the last page and actually the most important page the shop so here you can go to the individual balance boards and i have only got these four boards right now in the shop because yeah these are the boards i have at home except this one this is not available but yeah just check out the cicada balance board and yeah here you can see all the details of the boards and yeah just some more information so like the size the surface and what you get if you order this board and all the product images of course and yeah so actually that's it with the shop and with the web page and yeah i really hoped that you liked the insights of my little balance board project here and I really hope that we are going to hear uh, to see you in the next episode because this is definitely not going to be the last one I really want to share more more of this exciting journey with you because yeah this is just a really big thing for me and it's really exciting to see how all this happens and yeah I hope you like this and so See you in the next episode. Bye.